Welcome back to our continuing coverage of the 2015 Mid-Season Invitational coming to you live from Tallahassee, Florida. Hello everyone, I'm Max Atlas Anderson, manning the cast desk with the, for the next three games. Uh, David Freak Turley and Sam Kobe Hartman Kensler, and it is wonderful to be here with these guys. It is time for our fourth match of the day with Besiktas Esports Club taking on Team Solo Mid. And TSM will be looking to rebound after a very disappointing first game in which they were soundly beaten by Fnatic. And it showed us right away, teams preparing for the TSM style. They don't pay any attention to Dyrus. Well, <laughs> in comes Fnatic, bringing in a carry top laner, uh, camping that top lane repeatedly, crushing that matchup, carrying through Huni. Very good by them. Santorin, we didn't see much of him at all. Yeah. We didn't see any counter ganks, no pressure on the other side of the map two things I want to look for in this series. Yeah, that was a little bit disappointing not to see TSM adapt. But, you know, some things are going in favor for TSM. They're not a team that tilts. They are a team that wins the consecutive games after their first games, usually in bed. If only it wasn't yep. a series. I mean, the group stage <laughs> is essentially a big best of five. You just play five Your games in a changes. row. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah whatever, it's yeah, fine. Sure. But TSM lost the first game of the series, just like the <laughs> NA playoffs. Now the 4-0 sweep for TSM. It's, it's written in stone. What is the same is the period between games where they get to adapt. They get to go talk to their coaching staff. Yeah, they get true. to go talk to their analysts. And they can fill up, uh, you know, countermeasures, come up with countermeasures. Yeah, work out the way to get there. But as the players get ready, Thaldron talks about the determination Besiktas Esports Club is bringing to MSI. Uh, the rest of the world thinks that we are going to do 0-5 in group stage. I mean, lose all the games. But I think we can win one or two. Uh, so we will do our best to prove themselves that we are not the underdogs here. Let's review the starting lineups. On the blue side, it's Besiktas Esports Club with in the top lane, Thaldrin, the jungle, Theocles, mid lane is energy, and AD carry, Nadius with the support, Dumbledoge. And of course, coaching them is Left Leon. On the red side, though, is Team Solo mid, top laner, Dyrus, jungler, Santorin, mid laner, Bjergsen, AD carry, Wild Turtle, supporting Lost Boy, and their coach, Loco Doko. And man, this is going to be a massive matchup. I'm excited to see whether Besiktas can bring out sort of their mid lane killing strategy and try and get one on Bjergsen this time. I mean, so far, Dumbledore's coming in with uh, first blood and Faker. A pretty good right? way to start a mid uh -huh. invitational. So if you, if you have that aggression come out again here, it was shown to be the big weakness of TSM. So that is one thing I do think is a point in their favor. Yeah, or, you know, continue <laughs> on with target bands at Dyrus, throw three bands up at Dyrus, and that has also been shown to be, you know, a weak point there for TSM. And really, though, Santorin, um, if all these bands are going to be going towards mid lane and towards top lane, uh, you know, he's going to have his pick of the litter, and he should have an earlier impact this game. Yeah, yeah and does player. he pick Sejuani this time instead of the Rek'Sai? Is that a thing? Uh, I mean, it really depends what you want to do. I think Rek'Sai is a good early aggressive jungler. We didn't happen to see the ganks come out, but if you look at those sort of top four, Sejuani, Nunu, Gragas, Rek'Sai, Rek'Sai is the one you pick for early pressure. I think we can see that come out.